Moses joined me on the desk. Now this weekend there was high school football in Bonneville, but there was also another event happening, um, a very special event honoring a young man. Yeah, you know what, uh, the event with the young man uh, was very special, like you say, helping out the community at the same time as well. Kyle Galver has more. Football was the backdrop Friday night in Bonneville as hundreds came out for the fourth annual Scott McDonald Memorial Fundraiser. Tyler Jan started the event in 2010 to remember McDonald, a Voyager's alumnus who passed away from cancer shortly after graduating. Scott was kind of a buddy and a mentor of mine, so uh, just decided, you know what, why not go put something towards a good cause. Along with a double header of local football, the 2013 edition featured a silent auction, 50-50 drop, and for the first time, someone had the opportunity to kick to win a brand new Ford F-150. Jan is amazed at how the event continues to grow year after year. That wasn't what I intended when, when I started it, but you know what, it's just grown to such a bigger and better thing that I could have hoped for. All proceeds go right back into the community. Last year, more than $10,000 was raised. Each year we try and just kind of spread it out as best we can, but keeping towards the cancer side of things. While the majority of funds this year will go to the Bonneville Cancer Center, about 20% is set aside for the Scott McDonald Scholarship Fund. It's for graduating players that are um, thinking about going into junior football, any kind of football after, even just into schooling, uh, they just have to apply for it. It's a great idea, getting kids to uh, better their education and, and just better their lives. And it's the sense of community the event creates that's sure to keep it going strong for years to come. My favorite part is just seeing all the, all the guys from my, my year still coming up and seeing all the new kids that are participating and, and really getting into the spirit of football. Kyle Gallagher, UCAP Sports. All right, the Lloyd Mr. Bobcats return home with a couple wins under their belt, sweeping a pair of road games in Grand Prairie. Now on Friday, they came out on top with a 3-2 victory, then followed that up with a 4-3 win on Saturday. The key to both W's, quick starts. We did the little things. We went to the net and, and you know worked hard in the offensive zone to get control of the puck and find a way to get pucks to the net. And when you do that, you're going to have some success. So certainly, I think that's going to be a real good learning experience for us and something we can build on. Not only did the wins get the Bobcats back to the 500 mark, it's also given the team a boost of confidence moving forward. They believe in themselves and they believe in I think what we're doing right now, and they realize we're going to have to be a team that works hard every night and leaves uh, everything on the ice to get results and they've kind of bought into that. All right, sticking with hockey, Deloitte Minster Junior B Bandits were in Wainwright over the weekend for a mini tournament. Now after dropping the first two games Saturday, they took on the Killam Wheat Kings Sunday. They came out with a 5-2 victory to finish up at 1-2. and two. Now they'll kick off the regular season Saturday night against Onion Lake. Also in local hockey news to tell you about. The Universal Heat, the Lloyd Minster Universal Heat, started their season strong with a pair of lopsided victories against the Grand Prairie Golden Arrow Storm. Get this, 8-0 and 11-1. The Heat will now be back home Saturday afternoon against Leduc. 19-1, unbelievable. All right, before we leave you tonight, be sure to listen to Lloyd FM starting from 6 o'clock for the Boston Pizza Sports Show. Hosts Brandon Bosler and Greg Buchanan will bring you an in-depth look at sports, making headlines across the globe, including our own neck of the woods. Tonight's guests include writers, quarterback coach Kahari Jones, and of course, local boy Scott Hartnell and many more. So be sure to tune in from 6 till 7 on Lloyd FM or stop by Boston Pizza where they will be doing the show every Monday. Make fun of them for me too while you're at it. All right, well that's all the time we have in sports. We'll have more news and weather coming up after the break.